Hi, this is Damon King, Certified Financial Planner and Wealth Management Specialist with Chapelwood Financial Services. And in this very short video, I wanted to walk you through what is in the new COVID-19 relief bill. Well, first of all, what is it actually called? It's called the CARES Act, the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Act. You know Congress, they like to have their acronyms. So that's the actual name of the act itself. So what exactly is in it? There's $2.2 trillion in stimulus. And uh, this is targeted to a variety of different things within the economy. So uh, let's walk through those. And I should point out that this is hot off the press. Okay, so this bill was just signed uh, less than a week ago. And so we're still trying to digest and dive into uh, everything that's in this. But we're going to touch on the highlights here today. So some of the key provisions, number one, Families are going to receive one-time checks of $1,200 per adult and $500 per child subject to certain income limits. And those checks are intended to be sent out as soon as possible. It's going to take time to get, that, get those out. So they're going to work as quickly as they can, but it isn't going to be instantaneous. The second thing, $250 billion has been earmarked for enhanced unemployment benefits. And they're actually going to add $600 per week to every check for four months. So that's gonna actually increase the amount of unemployment income that people who have applied for unemployment benefits will receive. So that will help people who have lost their jobs during this time. There has been $500 billion earmarked to help distressed businesses, cities, and states. And specifically within that, $42 billion has been earmarked to airline industries, other industries that for you know one reason or another are considered vital to our national security. There's also $349 billion for small businesses. Small businesses account for 90% of the businesses in the United States, so we've got to try to keep them open. So this $349 billion will actually come in the form of a, a loan that if the business takes out the loan and they use that money to pay for payroll, rent, particularly tied to keeping people employed. They want to keep people employed. So what's the first thing that happens? A small business loses revenue, they have to lay people off. So this is to try to avoid as many layoffs as possible. Later on, those loans will be forgiven. Basically, they won't have to pay them back. That's the, the general language of the bill. I'm sure there are a lot of other details that are uh, required there. $150 billion has been earmarked for direct uh, aid to state and municipal governments. Uh, there is another $221 billion in other business tax breaks. Uh, they didn't really specify what those other business tax breaks are. And then very important, $340 billion has been earmarked for spending on hospitals and veterans care. So hopefully this will help hospitals that have been overrun with uh, just thousands and thousands of people with the coronavirus taking up intensive care unit beds uh, and really just taxing our health care system. So is this stimulus bill really going to help? Is it, is it, what is it going to do exactly? Well, let's be honest, first of all. Let's, let's talk turkey, all right? This stimulus bill is not likely going to stop a recession, all right? That's not what it's really designed to do. Second quarter economic growth, when, it, when that number gets reported, it's going to be awful. It's not going to be that great. The third quarter, we don't really know right now. It, it could go either way. It really depends on how long it takes for the virus to be contained and for businesses to open back up again, for us to get out and start spending our money. One thing is certain, though, once we get back to life as normal or we start to get back to normal life, there's going to be a lot of pent-up demand. People will not have gone out to eat for a long time, or they wouldn't have gone shopping or see a movie. There's going to be a bunch of, of economic stimulus probably going in, certainly into the fourth quarter. But it's not going to likely stop a recession. Unemployment claims are going to be off the charts. There's no way around that. But this bill is intended to try to help stem that. These results um, are simply the natural result of shutting down our entire business system. But what this bill is designed to do is to keep the engine running. It's designed to keep the economic engine of the United States running until we can get past this. So jobs are going to be saved. Businesses will survive. Families are going to be able to avoid bankruptcy because they're going to have additional cash coming in. And the market, it'll help to stabilize it a little bit. That's We've already seen the market respond to that. So this bill is intended to keep the damage to a minimum until science 
and the medical community can find a vaccine, can help to contain the virus. And until we do that, regardless of what else happens, until we contain the virus, which is the real underlying problem, this volatility that we see is likely going to continue. So this is not a fix-all, but it is intended to help. So that's, that's what we've seen so far in this bill. Uh, we'll continue to monitor it and look for any other additions, but those are some of the key provisions. So be uh, watching for other videos, and the way you can do that is go to our YouTube channel, Go to YouTube on your mobile device, on your computer. You want to search for the Financial Diva channel and then hit the subscribe button. When you do that, you're going to get notifications of all of our video content. And we're going to be trying to push out as much video as we can about what's going on, not just in the markets, but with the stimulus bill and everything revolving around the fight against COVID-19. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.